Hello, all you beautiful people out there. This is Diana Suko, the Pinup Chef, and thank you so much for tuning in to another fantastic episode of the Pinup Chef. I'm so excited. I have a really, really delicious dish for you, and it's just seven ingredients and I promise you it's going to be so easy it's not a lot of chopping or anything I'm going to show you the biggest amount of work that you're going to need to do um, it's going to be good uh, let me just get something out of the way it's New York I'm doing this out of my house and it is the day the exterminator comes and of course, because Murphy's Law is what it is, I'm betting that they're gonna come in the middle of all of this, so fantastic. So I might have to do a little um, a station break for a second and let the exterminator come in for a second to do what they do, especially because we definitely wanna keep the critters away. So I am very happy to have them come, just is what it is. And hey, it's a fantastic, gorgeous Friday the 13th. I just realized I forgot to turn on my sign. Ah, woo -woo -woo, the sign is on. <laughs> so anyways, yes, Friday the 13th, such a fantastically lucky day. I love it. It's one of my favorite days aside from Halloween <laughs> and maybe my birthday. <laughs> I actually like it. I like to be able to have cake and champagne to as much as I want, although we'll see about this year. <laughs> um, part of this problem came on from the past few years. So anyways, let's get started and we're going to make a delicious, um, <laughs> I'm going to laugh because I really wanted to get like some different ingredients. So big surprise guys, we have a cauliflower broccoli and chicken today but it's gonna be <laughs> different I promise I promise you next week we're gonna have spaghetti and yes we're gonna go to a little Italian and I'm gonna show you just how on a diet as strict as the one is, that I'm on you can actually have a little bit of spaghetti and get that mm, yumminess that you need so with that we're going to do today a delicious little um, um, broccoli and chicken cheesy casserole. And I'm going to make mine in these super cute little individual casseroles because I need to weigh and measure mine exactly. But you guys, if you want, you can make it all into one bigger casserole and you don't have to do a bunch of little ones, but I love it. So what we have today is I have about a clove of garlic because I love garlic um, chopped onions already bought them chopped didn't even have to do that work I have chicken you guys didn't only had to open the package because I bought them already in these cute little uh, cubes so how perfect was that didn't even have to do that I have some chicken broth here because um, we're gonna cook with that I have the juice of half a lemon Cauliflower, again, right out of the bag. Didn't even have to chop those. Although we're gonna give them a little bit of cuts and I'll show you why. And dun, 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 broccoli, big surprise, here we have it again. Out of the bag too. That's like, how easy was this? And, oh, hey Christine, hi gorgeous. Ah, oh, you're, oh, you're eating the meal I cooked last week, yay. I love it. Sorry if I have to keep going. I don't have my glasses on. I forgot to grab them. <laughs> and I was just saying, you know, it's in New York, so it's exterminator day. They might be popping in halfway through this because that's just Murphy's Law because they haven't arrived yet. So anyway, let's get started. And the best thing is the only thing you guys are going to need to make this is one kind of little bit, you know, deep pan and the blender. Ooh, we'll bring that out later. So we're gonna get started with the pan. I'm gonna give it a little spray. We're gonna let that get nice and hot. 
Also, I have to apologize in advance. My allergies are making me crazy and I can't stop coughing no matter what I'm taking, so. I'm gonna be drinking a lot through this. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the only bit of real work that you have to do with this are your garlic cloves. Take out the cloves, obviously. I like a lot of garlic, so I kind of have almost a whole bud, but it's a small one. And they're gonna be cooked so you don't have to worry about being stinky because after you cook them, they're not like eating it raw. So really the only work you have to do is, I'm gonna try to put this where you guys can see it, is just gonna cut the little ends off of the cloves, discard those, smash these down, just like that, and then just give them a rough little chop because in the end, they're gonna end up getting blitzed with the sauce. And there you go. Whew. I'm tired. But there you go. That's all the work you have to do today. The rest of it, I've honestly just opened up packages. Let's check how we're doing over here on the heat. We don't want to let that get too, I don't want to let that smoke. And then we're going to put in all of this yummy chicken. Okay, I'm gonna do, I'm doing this all again, except for the end of the baking in real time, so you guys can see, you know, how long, it doesn't take that long. Let's put this all in here. bunch of things dirty the little bowl that you had your chicken in just wash it because you're gonna need it after when you take the chicken out because we're gonna cook everything in the exact same pan one after the other and it works out fine because um, the chickens gonna take the longest because everything else is just vegetables you really just want to give them a quick little steam to soften up a little but this way it also saves on a ton of cleanup for me. So while that's cooking, now I know that I told you guys I was going to give you a weight to progress. <laughs> just kidding. No, I'm not just kidding. Honestly, I forgot. <laughs> I completely forgot this morning because I was all excited about getting ready, doing my hair and makeup, <laughs> not gonna lie. And totally forgot to weigh myself. You know, you should weigh yourself first thing in the morning. And by the time I realized it, I, I had already had a little bit of breakfast and the day had started. So I was like, I don't even want to know in case I mess something up. So sorry about that, but I will weigh myself tomorrow morning and then I'll just add it to the, um, the description or whatever you want to call it for this, for this live. Now I'm just going to put a little bit of salt and pepper if I can open the salt on the chicken. Just want to get a little seasoning on there. A little bit of pepper. That on there. And we're going to turn it around a little bit. These are cooking up nicely. That's cool. So the only other little thing is maybe your cauliflower florets, the little big bigger ones, just give them just a little. Like I said, it's not a big deal because they're gonna get softened up, but just because then we're gonna put them in the blender. And they'll be steamed, but it's just, you know, trying to take care of your appliances. <laughs> take care of your stuff and it'll take care of you. That was actually a big little, big chunk big little that was a big chunk so okay there we go cool that's done I'm excited this is so good oh I'm just loving it and I love putting it in like for, for me like I said because I have to weigh and measure it in these teeny little 
um, casseroles, and that's kind of fun too. Like if you ever wanted to make something like this for friends, um, it's kind of cute to get little individuals. This could be like an appetizer size, and they're, I think they're a lot of fun to receive, and you can get these in a whole bunch of colors. I got them at Michael's. Christine, you know, us at Michael's, it's a dangerous place. It's one of those places like Target and Sephora for me. You can't go in for just the one thing. You're like, I just need one thing. Never happens. I always end up leaving with like, well, I don't know, this funky little dude, that thing. I need this, like, I need to have it. My soul needs to have it. It's glittered, <laughs> come on, we were made for each other. Like, I came here to find you. I found my glittery soulmate in Michael's, Target, Sephora. Oh, and then there's the other one. Have you guys been to, I think it's called Fly Copenhagen? Is it Fly Copenhagen? Yes, Michael's. Yeah, I think it's called that. I know it's flying something, and I think it's Copenhagen in the title, so there you go. It's flying Copenhagen. That's another one. That place makes me crazy. They have all kinds of fun little funky things in there, but they're just fantastic. And I always go in there and come out with something that just made my soul sing. Like my flying tiger. Thank you, flying tiger. <laughs> flying Copenhagen. Whatever, you know, Copenhagen, they got tigers over there, don't they? <laughs> no, they have the Little Mermaid, actually. I've been to Copenhagen. I didn't see any tigers. It's all right, it's all right. Yeah, just a few more minutes for these. Wanna let them get done. Um, but I got my fantastic pinup shop sign at Flying Tigers. Not Flying Copenhagen, because that doesn't exist. Flying Tigers. And Okay, so I'm gonna give you guys also a little update on, you know, I've been working on this self-worth exploration for the last couple weeks, and um, it's hot in here, so, and allergies. Um, wow, you know, I think if, um, if you, well, I mean, we all know, like, working on ourselves, but, like, really getting down to, like, core things about yourself, I'm taking a really long way to say that I've struggled this last week, maybe week and a half, okay, maybe two, with really valuing myself and finding my self-worth and showing up for myself. And I just, I know I say that I, I want certain things or I want to do things and I, and then for some reason, like afraid to show up for myself to do them. and. It's really been thrown in my face this last couple weeks. I don't know if there's also two because, you know, one of the big, huge self-worths is at the same time doing that. And, and I'm on this, this weight loss regimen that I've been wanting to do for a long time because my whole, the whole reason I even got up to the weight that I did was a lack of self-worth and being in huge fear, not speaking for myself. And I had to stuff all that down. And now that my, um, my uh, what do you wanna call them, crutches or my comfort things have been taken away, I am like thrust into what I had been eating over or fears and all of that at once. And it kinda can be a scary, it can be a scary little ride, little, it's not little. It's a scary ride, but um, I have, fantastic people around me I'm in this fantastic group and we're there for each other but um, yeah you just you don't realize how some of these things are so ingrained in us and just how the, the little like devious ways that it comes out you know like the other day I was like I just want a chocolate so bad well like Really, and then I had to keep going back. Why do I want it? Keep asking, what's what am I nervous about? What am I afraid about? What is the real feeling? And you know, what am I really, really having feelings over? And it's never about, oh, I just want the chocolate or whatever, it's just so much more. And like, I don't really need it. Once I kind of got to the what was really bothering me that I was like, oh my gosh, I don't really need it, nor do I want it, because that's not the thing. I just wanted to stuff something down. 
we all know what chocolate is like it's delicious i'll have it again one day i'm gonna find something that you know within like my diet world that i can have but um just just those things like how it just really really can sneak up and it's just you know life is interesting it's a very very interesting ride so let's give our juice a little uh our chicken a little turn all right that's almost ready yeah so it's an interesting ride it's a beautiful ride and i encourage people that you know if you can it's not easy take a moment to get to some of the core things of of yourself to do it find great people to do it with because i'm i'm learning a lot and um i'm so sorry that i'm probably boring you guys i got like all serious for a second because i am right in the thick of it and we're just trying to cook but back to taking care of myself making this and wanting to share it with you guys is so delicious it feeds my soul and i'm so happy to be here something came up where i almost was like oh wow if i that i might have had to cancel today and i'm like wow if i do that i'll get this but then that would have been me not putting the worth to myself to what i want to do and i've committed to wanting to do this with you guys sharing it with you it's also my business i enjoy it it's fun and i was about to once again put something else in front of it oh yay i'm glad i'm helping you guys <laughs> you know and it, so it's like things like that and i really believe like when you make a decision for something the universe will come and test you because boy is it like to put things in front of me and then i have to really decide no maybe i might not get exactly what this shininess is presenting to itself but this is what i really want and so for right now i have to go towards what i really want i have to go towards me because this is just a, this is just a test you know a test of the emergency broadcast system how committed are you to you huh how committed are you to you and damn it i'm committing i have to because i haven't had champagne in a long time guys or cake come on now i'm committed ah uh, that's all right so all right i'm gonna take out the chicken it left a lot of juice in there but let the juice stay because we're going to steam the other things we're gonna like share juices and all that kind of stuff so I'm gonna take my little swatted spoon take out this bit of chicken we're gonna use it again put this here Now, if you want also to, you can grill your chicken if you want a little bit more like, sometimes I like that like a little bit of crust that gets on the outside. You could totally do that. Might need sometimes a little bit more oil for that, which I didn't use. Okay, so we're gonna let this sit for a while. I'm gonna take my broccoli now the recipe you'll see it it'll be on the description with this it calls for a, a half a cup of chicken stock i suggest making a cup because i kept using it or i keep using it to cook other stuff so again just just take a little bit because you're just going to steam my friend christina's told me my half and one fourth of a cup is an eighth <laughs> so an eighth of a cup but just take the little the smallest one just fill it halfway because I just want to steam the veggies. I'm not like trying to boil them or anything. So now we're going to put all of our broccoli in there. You know, I'm going to put a teeny bit more juice just because. Cover that up. And now, <clears throat> for your listening pleasure, Mozart is going to keep time for us. So I set my timer when I steam vegetables for three minutes from beginning to end. I put them in, turn the hot, this was already hot, but um, 
I can't wait for you guys to hear when Mozart lets us know the time is ready. So that's it. You're like, we're getting our, on our way to being halfway done with this. So we're just gonna give that three minutes. Our chicken here is cooling off a little bit. And like I said, you can make a big, huge casserole. I'm gonna make these cute little ones. So I'm gonna bring this over here. Just take some of the chicken bits, put them in each of the casseroles like this. I hope you can see this. I'm trying to bring it forward. I can't see if you're seeing because your comments cover <laughs> the bottom half of my screen. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping you guys can see. So there you go. Put a little bit. I have more to do, but we'll put that back there. Okay. Cool. And sometimes, yeah, three minutes is usually good. Or sometimes I just like to steam broccoli until literally just boom turns brilliant green. It kind of goes from that um, dusty green to a brilliant green, and it's done. But. I also like my vegetables still a little bit of a crunch to them. I don't like them like, yeah, we're just gonna give that, we're gonna get, Mozart's almost about to tell us it's ready. I can't wait for you guys to hear Mozart. I love this, it's one of my favorite things ever to have, or that I found. I found it and I didn't have my wallet or my phone because I keep my card in my phone and I didn't have cash because like who the hell has cash these days I never do and even if I have it it's gone in two seconds it like burns a hole in my pocket so fast so anyways I saw this little timer in a shop <clears throat> green color and it's still got a little bit of a crispness to it I hate when like sometimes you even go into like a restaurant or something and you ask for steamed vegetables and it's just like they steamed the life out of the vegetable you're like you guys I said steam not like killed kill my vegetables all right so again this time I'm going to take almost about the whole quarter of a cup of broth and I'm going to put in the already cut up onions that's done boom we're going to let these just turn a little bit translucent and what's kind of good is that anytime you keep adding a little bit of the juice um, scrape up the bits that are stuck to the bottom of the pan because they're full of a lot of flavor so we just want to keep we just want to keep borrowing all of your ingredients as flavors there's only seven of, of the ingredients so okay i love it we're going to give that just a minute we i will not be cutting anything anymore so i don't need the cutting board i like it <sighs> Oops. I love it. I'm sweating like crazy because it's hot. It's hot up in here. Even though I have my little fan going. But you know how it is when you cook. Yay, that's almost ready. 
and then we're going to add the cauliflower and the garlic. Hey, hi, Mirko. You look at later party time. <laughs> My cousin from Sweden, yay. I love Facebook. I know it gets a lot of um, bad rap, but I love it because I can connect with family and friends all over the world, and I think it's fantastic. I'm very happy it was invented. Okay, so now these have been cut a little translucent. Add all your garlic. And again, like you saw, you didn't have to make a big deal with the garlic. This is all going to get blended up together. Add your cauliflower. your bit of juice. You can have, add what's left of your um, broth. You guys, we're almost done. Almost with the um, work portion of the dish. So while those are steaming away, You know, we have to put the master Mozart to work. So I don't know if you can see these here. I have my little mini casseroles. Just now take and you're gonna add some broccoli. Again, I'm making little mini ones, but again, if you had a big one, you just dump it all in there, and stir it up together. I'll finish these later, so I'm gonna have a lot of. I love it, love it, love it, yay! This is super, super simple. Um, I really want to take my I don't know how to cook peeps and teach them how to cook. Uh, in a couple weeks, I'm making a dish where I swear to you, again, it's just take all of the ingredients, we're not even going to have to cut them, dump them into a casserole, put some flavoring, flavorings, throw them in the oven, you're done. I know that you guys are gonna be able to do that. It's gonna be great. So, yeah, so I know I didn't get a chance to weigh myself, but I will tell you, I can feel it. I, I feel in myself, like starting to feel healthier. You know, I don't feel, I mean, I still have a long way to go, but just when I get up in the morning, it's just a little bit less, oh, heaviness you know um because that was really when you actually or at least for me when I actually really started to feel the heaviness the weight that I had on that was really scary to me and how hard it was to I like I love yoga or getting into poses and I couldn't because I had it you know I wasn't as flexible um it's gonna sound crazy even Crossing my legs was hard, and I'm like, wow, because the legs are just so much bigger to have to cross. That was, um, or that is, just, it can be kind of hard to take when it's like, this is not, I don't want to, I don't want to, like, shame it. Like, it's not my body, it's just, what did I do? And it's not so much as the, again, the weight, but what was I thinking where that, caused me to do this to myself you know um just the anger that i've had to myself and letting this go like this so we're finding the self-love we're finding it in the food as well and these are all like even the food let's put some love to the food because it's going to love me back by just barely um, steaming it. You want to steam out all of its nutrients and all of its yumminess. So, Mozart's telling us that the cauliflower is ready. Yay! Fantastic. Where did I put my... Great. You guys, this is like almost done. Like once again, in real time, you get to see my neurosis of cleaning as I'm going. <laughs> oh my God, there was a spill, I gotta clean it up. Now, I'm gonna grab my blender. 
take all this delicious cauliflower that we just steamed up, throw it in the blender. Actually, let me take it so it's not quite so high up. Put it in here. Oh my gosh, I love it. Let's get this. So I got so quiet there for a second, I had to concentrate, otherwise this is going to end up everywhere. Now, if you can, as your chicken is sitting, at the bottom, it might, you'll see, could release some juices. If you can, get that juice in here too. I'm afraid I might end up making a mess. There you go. And we're just gonna take out that one bit of chicken. Now what's really great about this dish is that if you're vegetarian or vegan, just don't put the chicken in there. That's it, it's the only change you have to make. And guess what? It's a completely vegetarian vegan meal because this is the cheese sauce. Now, how I make the cheese sauce or what I'm doing is I'm taking my half a lemon, half of the juice of half a lemon, I'm only going to put in about half right now. I want to taste it as it goes. I'm adding a little extra onion powder. Like a teaspoon, I guess. <laughs> I'm just adding a few little squirts. I love the taste. And then me, because I just love my paprika, my smoked paprika, I'm adding a few little, uh, what do you want to call them? dashes and then our final ingredient is going to be nutritional yeast this is what's going to give it the yummy cheese flavor but we, we need to blend it first so there you go you just take this blend it up lentils in it. You'll have to cook some of the lentils first. Oh yeah. I'm gonna add a little more salt. Ooh, white cannellini beans. I love those. In a little while. I'll definitely be making one of my favorite dishes for you guys. It's like a Mediterranean chicken bake with white cannellini beans in it. I'm going to give this the last little blitz. I'm going to get another spoon because no double dipping in the tasting. Which I do when it's only for me. Yes. Okay, so now you have your chicken and your broccoli layers. You just pour a little bit of your cheese on top. So 
sorry again for the allergies. Oh, this did not get double dipped. Try to, you know, get everything a nice little coating. I could add a little more broccoli to these. Cool. So those will have a nice little coating on them. I'm going to give them another little squirt of cheese. Awesome. Okay, so then you're gonna take these little beauties and you're gonna put them into a preheated oven at 350 degrees for 20 minutes. Woohoo! Set your Mozart timer. And no, I'm not gonna have you sit here and wait for 20 minutes. The magic, woohoo! Wait, let's get this out of the way. Magic, if I had glitter, I'd throw it right now. And then I'd probably leave it here. They will come out like this one. I don't know if you can see this. Nice baked, I don't know what you can see. You can also leave it for it to get a little bit bubbly. And oh, this is mine, I can use this spoon. <laughs> We'll break it up a little. Yeah, so in 20 minutes, some, you know, you'll have little bubbly um, edges. Oh my gosh, that's so yummy. It's so delicious, you guys. And there you go. Boom, in 20 minutes, done, done. Now you just have to clean up. <laughs> but this is so delicious. It's so good for you. It's super clean food, great flavors. And again, the easiest way you can make this completely vegan and you won't miss a thing. So there you go, guys, that's it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm gonna go enjoy my lunch and finish making off the rest of the week for these. Oh, and if you can get these little casseroles, or you don't have to, you can make a big one or portion it out however you want. You can let them completely cool, cover them up, and then you can freeze them. And then when you want, defrost them. Or if you had one of these, you could just pop that thing frozen in the oven, you know, give it another half hour to cook. Or well, if you defrost it, pop it in the microwave for a minute. Actually, give it a minute. Give it two minutes in the microwave. If it's frozen, you probably have to give it more. Um, and it's great. And like, I will have my whole entire week ahead of me cooked and ready to go. And it helps on the weight loss success. It helps on the self worth because I am taking care of myself and I'm putting something good in my body. So good keeps coming out. There you go. Thank you once again for tuning in with me and the Pinup Chef. And I promise you guys won't believe it, next week there will be different ingredients and we're gonna have spaghetti on a diet. What? I said it's spaghetti. Woohoo! Spaghetti, spaghetti. I love it. And there you go. Thank you guys so much. I can't wait to see you next week. I'll, again, I'm going to have the recipe and everything on the description. And whenever you want, these things will live also on my website, thepinupchef.com. And then you can check out some other videos, um, go on some pinup walks, my blog. That's all of it right there. And you can always get a hold of me if you'd like for me to cook for you. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Christine. Ah, Christine is my fantastic, amazing, like, friend who is never going to get rid of me for as long as she lives <laughs> she is an actress amazing and i'm so proud of her her and her husband their film is screening this week 
at the Long Island Film Festival. Something long, it's a, ooh, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry I'm messing this up for you. But Film Festival in Long Island, tonight is the party. I'm so proud of them. They work so hard and it's such an amazing film. So, yes. Surround yourself with amazing people. Woohoo! And your life will be amazing. Thank you for being in my life, Christine, and all of you other beautiful dolls. Thank you. Bye.